Hey everyone, it's Jojo and I'm bringing you yet another Beyblade Burst Rise unboxing and review. Today I have the new Hypersphere Morigna M5. So Morigna, good old Morigna for the Hypersphere system. And we got a nice recolor. Morigna is really good. Too bad it's banned in Beyblade Burst uh, Classic. It's, uh, it's really round, really compact, really great for defense and stamina. And speaking of defense, this is a defense type. It's a right spinning Beyblade. The disc is D52. The performance tip is TH17. And here we have the hypersphere meter. Four on runtime, two on a drop down rate. And that is it. It's a single pack, so it doesn't come with a launcher. And yeah, let's just get this Beyblade open. And here we have Marigna. Let's start off with the energy layer, Marigna. Really love the motif on this layer, like a crow or raven in the middle. I really like this color a lot better than the original, which I do have, so I'll show that in a little bit. Uh, nice silver paint, nice silver wings on the outside. Very, very round Beyblade. You can see the, the bird's heads, three of them all around. Yeah, great. Great for defense and stamina. There's a the code. Let's go ahead and scan that. And then here we have the original Marigna. Ooh, I, I don't know. I did say I like this better. I think it just pops a little bit more because of the silver, but this does have like a really nice purple, <laughs> purple plastic to it. Then next up we have 11 for the disc and it's four stars, been getting a lot of four stars lately. And then for the performance tip, this is actually a new performance tip. This is Banshee-H, looks pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't look anything too impressive. It kind of reminds me of, um, of Valor a little bit just because of the the shape. I think it's exactly like Valor almost I think Valor might have a sharper tip to it, but I'm not quite sure. I mean it is a little bit flatter here Compared to this that has um, grooves in it So this might be a little just a teensy bit more mobile, but again, we'll just have to see and Let's see how much Marigno weighs. I don't think I've done that before. 11.53 and then the 11 disc 18.81 and the performance tip banshee dash h 8.55 marigna's um again a really good beyblade just the issue with it is that it's really high out here like on the layer so it has trouble with uh, the Takara Tomy string launchers, which I'll demonstrate. So these types of launchers, when you put it in, you can see that it doesn't really stick on too well. And you could also see that it's like hitting that little edge here, kind of like with the Genesis armor, where it'll grind against this outer ring on the top. And I think I do have with my original Marigna, you can kind of see where it's shaved off there. That's from the launcher because it's grinding against it. And another piece right there that's kind of shaved off and like you can clearly see that white edge to it. So of it being shaved off from the launcher. So that is kind of like a, that's pretty bad. <laughs> you don't want to have that. That's for, again from the Genesis, the Genesis armor. But I believe this does fine with the Hasbro launchers, which I have right here. Yeah, because it, it does just fine. It like hooks on just fine. All right, so let's do a spin test and test battle. Spin test time. Marigna on Banshee. Oh, okay. <laughs> if it could fit on the launcher, I mean, like I said before, it doesn't really fit there very well. All right, three, two, one, let it go. All right, yeah, very, very stable. Pretty balanced. Seems like it would be more stamina based. Let's do one more. Okay. <laughs> this is all staying in. Three, two, one, let it. Yeah, not aggressive at all. And I do want to compare that to um, Valor. So let's. Yeah, let's uh yeah, let's do a comparison. 
with Aaron Knight and Valor. Three, two, one, let it go. Whoa, okay. Okay, so a little bit of movement in the beginning. But yeah, but again, just pretty much staying in that that center area. And since I got Air Knight out, let's do a test battle against Marigna. Let's see if wide is better than compact. Three, two, one, let it go. Oh, Marigna didn't come off the launcher very well. It was stuck. Yeah, again, it just got stuck on the launcher. It just kind of um, fell off. Let's try that again. <laughs> Yep, just stayed on the launcher. Not gonna be able to get a test battle. All right, I'm just gonna do it one at a time. Just let Air Knight go. Yeah, it still didn't even feel like it went off the launcher very well. And Air Knight gets it. All right, that was a better spin. Oh, nice. And Marigna gets that round. All right, so let's look at the top of this layer. Yeah, you can see where it's grinding against the launcher. It's, a, it's already shaven off that part. Oh, and it just burst in my hand for some reason. And right there too. And let's see, yeah, right there. You can see where it's kind of shaving the plastic off. So that's that's pretty bad. Um, I think that's where I'm gonna end this review. Uh, if you want to use Marigna, I don't recommend using it with this, even though this is kind of a one of the better launchers. Um, use it with like a light launcher or something else because it's just gonna grind away at the plastic and it, you're not gonna get a strong launch off of this launcher. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, let me know what you think about Marigna. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I will see you next time with more. See you soon.